Welcome back. 39 after the hour. Ann Brennell from the Upper Peninsula Animal Welfare Shelter joins us this morning. Thanks for coming in, Ann. Thanks for having me. So you pause one of the many shelters in the Upper Peninsula that are now no kill. Mm -hmm. And it's been an interesting evolution of shelters. You know, could you tell us a little bit, you know, about how things went from being just a place to bring animals to the kill shelter psychology and then back? Well, I think, you know, it started out with good intentions, you yeah. know, many, many years ago. And, and through, the, through the years, I think the, philo the, the mindset of there's not enough homes or, um, you know, they're, they're better off maybe being euthanized than going into an abusive home or in, in the mindset. Mm -hmm. And it kind of went off of the, the, the wrong path, you right. know. But it was all in good intentions. It's, you, you know, better when you do, you do better when you know better. Sure. And... Um, it's just a wonderful thing is, you know, 20 years ago when you said no kill, you thought that's not even possible. Sure. Well, we know it is. And um, the no kill uh, revolution movie mm -hmm. proves that. And it's, it takes and talks about the whole, whole process of no kill. And that's what the movie is about. It's called Redemption, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the real focus yes, of it, isn't it? Absolutely. It is a movie by Nathan Winograd, who is the leading um, person in the no-kill movement. And years ago, when UPAS was previously the Market County Humane Society, um, you know, we had a save rate because it was that the old mindset of about 40%. And we we knew there was that talk about no kill out there. We found the book, one of our board mm -hmm. members, Redemption. We read the book, we read the no-kill philosophy, we read the no-kill equation, and we said we've got to do better and now we're saving almost a hundred percent of our animals. That is absolutely yes. amazing. Now when we deal with such a sensitive topic sometimes it's very hard for people anyway to see animals in shelters. How is it going to be visually for people if they're upset by these things? The movie does not show um, upsetting images. Okay. It's the story of the no-kill or the shelter okay. system. Um, but it is safe for people to come and see without being upset. And in essence, it is a very uplifting movie oh, because, you know, um, more and more shelters across the nation are no-kill. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Michigan, especially the UP of Michigan, has to be very, very proud because we are almost all no-kill up here. That is absolutely amazing. And I think I, I know that a lot of the shelters, including UPAWS, actually bring animals in from other areas to find yes. them loving homes. Absolutely. We great. just um, we just helped a, a shelter downstate with, with nine kitty cats and five got adopted in two days. So <laughs> that's so great. Now, for people who want to take in the movie, can you tell us when and where it's going to absolutely. be? Absolutely. It is this Thursday, the 23rd. Mm -hmm. It's at 7 o'clock. It is at the historic Vista Theater in mm -hmm. Nagani. And we're very thankful to the Vista Theater for hosting us. So... Um, it's free to the public, oh, nice. so there's no charge. Donations are welcome, and there'll be a question and answer period at the end, and um, we'll answer any questions about our hopes of a new shelter coming up, too. So we're yeah. excited about that. A lot of big stuff coming yes. for you, Paws, so that is great. Yes. Well, I want to thank you for letting us know about this movie. If you want to learn more about, you know, the no-kill revolution and, you know, a little bit more about how you can help out your local shelter, why not stop by? Absolutely. Great. Thank you, Ann, for joining us. Thank you.